Spike anti-tank guided missiles integrated into AH-64 Apache attack helicopters at Yuma Proving Ground. The U.S. Army's Yuma Proving Ground YPG has once again demonstrated its important role in the development of advanced weapon systems. This time, the primary focus is on integrating the Spike guided missile into the AH-64 Apache attack helicopter, long recognized as one of the most lethal combat platforms. This project is part of ongoing efforts to enhance the combat effectiveness of air units by adding high-precision long-range weapon systems. The Apache helicopter is already renowned for its advanced sensors, precision guidance systems, and deadly air-to-ground missiles like the Hellfire. However, with the addition of the non-line-of-sight NLOS Spike missile, its combat capabilities will increase dramatically. The new missile offers more than four times the range of the Hellfire, enabling the Apache to strike targets far beyond its initial position, even without a direct line of sight. In December 2023, YPG served as the testing ground for a five-day trial aimed at assessing the effectiveness and readiness of the spike for operation from the Apache. During the trials, eight spike guided missiles were fired in various scenarios, both day and night, and against static and moving targets. The targets used included replicas of the SA-22 defense system and an actual Dodge Dakota truck, selected to simulate real-world battlefield conditions. Some shots were fired from a hovering position nearby, while others were launched from a distance of over 30 kilometers. In one test scenario, the Apache performed an extreme maneuver by lowering its altitude and rotating 180 degrees. Leaving the launched missile to test whether it could still automatically hit the target. The results showed that Spike was able to maintain its trajectory and hit the target even when the connection with the launcher was temporarily lost. Cole Sutter, one of the test officers from YPG, revealed that the flight restriction algorithm embedded in Spike is highly robust. The system can recognize when it has departed from the planned flight zone and will take steps to land safely in an area deemed risky. thereby enhancing the system's safety and reliability. Major Brian Haley, Assistant Product Manager for the Apache Program Manager, stated that this integration represents a significant leap in the Apache's combat capabilities. He referred to the test as the culmination of a four-year collaboration between his team and the Yuma Proving Ground. noting that the Yuma Proving Ground provides facilities, test space, and frequency management that are highly suitable for large-scale projects like this. One of Spike's notable features is its ability to deactivate the warhead while still in flight. This was demonstrated in one test, where the missile hit the target without exploding, simulating training or operational situations requiring additional damage restrictions. Acoustic sensors were also installed to record sound data from the missile impact.
aiding future system development and refinement. The natural desert environment at the Yuma Proving Ground provides highly realistic testing conditions. Tests were conducted at various altitudes and weather conditions to ensure the missile functions optimally in all conditions.